How to connect Stripe Payment Getaway with WooCommerce, quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at how you can set up Stripe Payment Getaways on your WordPress website that is powered by WooCommerce. So let's get into it. Now, WooCommerce is an amazing e-commerce integration, which a lot of people that are using WordPress to build their websites are using. If you go into the extensions, you can see they have some basic methods of, you know, payment set up. However, a lot of people are now using Stripe for payments. And if you click on your payments over here, you can see the different payment options available and extensions available that you can integrate. So this is something that you must do whenever you are looking to, you know, expand your business. You want to offer as many payment getaways and Stripe is a super popular method right now. And if we take a look at our payments over here, so now you can see I have WooCommerce payments, I have cash on delivery, check, direct bank transfer, but how do you add Stripe? Well, it's very simple. You can go into your WooCommerce integration, click on your settings as I just did, and you can click on the settings, then click on payments over here. And if you scroll down, you can actually see discover the other payment providers, and this will open up the extension store. Now you can choose this way. This is a rather long way, then you can click on Stripe over here, click on free download. So you can click on free download, then click on proceed to checkout, and then you're going to click on approve. And this can be added to your, you know, payment methods or a more simpler method to connect Stripe to your WooCommerce platform. It's a lot easier than doing this. And I find it to be just simpler to connect it in that manner. It just helps to save a lot of time and provides more customization, which is simply log on to your WordPress dashboard. And once you have logged on to your WordPress dashboard, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and click on plugins. Then you're going to click on add new. Once you've clicked on add new, simply search for Stripe. Now, once you have searched for Stripe, you can see the multiple different plugins available. Now, all you have to do is select the first one. This is the one that is powered by WooCommerce. Now, this is the one that is compatible with every version of WordPress. It's specifically designed by WooCommerce to be able to be, you know, added to their payment system. So this is the one I like to use simply because it is created by WooCommerce. So there are a lot less hiccups whenever you are trying to set up your payment system. Now you're just going to click on install now. Once you have installed the plugins, you're going to click on installed plugin in your plugin section on the left side of your screen. And you can scroll down and you will see WooCommerce Stripe Getaway. And then you're going to click on activate. Once you have clicked on activate, you can click on settings. And once you have clicked on settings, this will open up the payment setup on your WooCommerce application. And then you're going to simply get started with Stripe and you can connect or create your Stripe account to easily connect your, you know, to receive your payments. So you can click on create or connect an account. And now you will simply enter your email address. So if you have a Stripe account, you can use the same email. If you don't have one, you can simply enter the email of your choice. And now you can see we are building our Stripe account. You're going to enter your phone number. And once you do that, that is it. So you can use the Authenticator app as well if you want, or you can add a security key instead to confirm with your specific you know, device or confirm your identity. And that is it. So once you have created your WooCommerce account, your payment will be ready. And now you can accept payments using WooCommerce as well. Now, a lot of people ask, okay, this plugin is fine, but the efficiency or the speed is not as fast as I want, or, you know, I want to be able to connect Stripe payments in a more effective manner. Well, a lot of people do say this plugin or this specific method of payment system is not as fast. So you can see I have Stripe currently available. If I can turn this on, you know, I just have to complete the setup. Now with Stripe, you have credit card, you have SIPA debit card, you have Jero Pay, you have Ideal, and this allows you to have Stripe in multiple different options. All the options that are available for Stripe, you can choose specific types of payments that you might not accept, or specific types of payments that you do accept with Stripe. And this is just in the general settings of Stripe. You can get a lot of detail. However, if you want a more faster delivery system or a faster system for your Stripe getaways, you can simply click on your plugins and you can click on add new. And then you can search for Stripe. 
When you search for Stripe, the second plugin that you actually get is by Web Toffee or either by Payment Plugin. So both of these are actually ranked higher simply because of their speeds and the getaway speeds are a little faster. Plus, they also support things like Google Pay, Apple Pay, Afterpay, Klarna, Ideal and other payment getaways. So if you want to, you know, activate or set up multiple payment getaways that are not limited to Stripe, you can enter this plugin over here and this payment plugin is super secure as well you don't have to worry about anything and you're just going to simply click on your settings over here and then from here you can enter stripe payment getaways you can enter your specific connection that you want to add then you have your advanced settings you also have credit and debit cards that you accept then you can choose apple pay settings so you can accept apple pay payments google pay and other local getaways as well for payment systems so this is going to be a all-inclusive payment getaway for your website so if you want to make it more inclusive then use this one it does have faster speeds however the customization that you would normally get with all of these stripe options that you have on the woocommerce stripe integrations might be a little more limited in terms of detailed stripe payments and you are now able to connect stripe payment getaways to your woocommerce wordpress website super simple and super easy it's available for free you don't have to pay for any of these plugins and you will get all of the basic features and security of Stripe. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video